this pouch is stupid. What the? Hey, these are going to be the minimum tools you want for day one. I'm going to show you how to set up to look like you might know what you're doing before you even get started. The first thing that's going to happen when you hire on with your company, they're going to give you a hard hat. Now, my hard hat here has a bunch of tape on it. This is to hide the stickers from the different jobs that I've been on. But there's a couple of things you want to know. So you want to set your hard hat up because you're going to get... You're not exactly going to get hazed, but you're going to get treated like the new guy. You might get hazed. Um, they're going to take your hard hat. They're going to rough it up and say, you know, we need to make this thing look used. You already want your hard hat to look like you've already been doing some work. So here's some key pointers. First thing here, this is a standard hard hat. Pretty typical to get one like this. Um, I've tried to cover up my logos and stuff, so I have my secret identity. But you can see here, this pencil has tape wrapped around it. Make sure you get a colored 3M or black 3M tape because any other color tape or any other brand of tape is going to leave marks on your hands. This is one way of getting that pencil to fit in the tie wrap. You're going to be using a hard hat a bunch and you're going to want to have things already ready to go where you can pull this off, make marks, and then you're going to kind of learn where this is by just figuring it out like that. So, first thing you're going to want to do, you can type in uh, zip tie strap or zip tie sticky back or something. And that's what will stick your Sharpie there. I've just installed this one so you can see what the heck it is. It's just a tie rack. And you want to get it about level like this and then tighten down on it to where it can't move. That way you can't pull it out. But it's nice and sturdy and still stays level. If you tape it up here, it's going to be all in different angles. You want to get your good work light. Uh, whenever I came up in the field, we didn't have rechargeable headlamps until much later that were worth anything. This one's pretty bright, and you have no idea how important it is to have a hard hat light until you go to a darker room and you just can't see what you're doing. You're trying to hold a flashlight while you're trying to do this. Be prepared. These are Velcro on the adhesive on the backside, and this keeps your hard hat light right where you want it you can see here i mean it's it's pretty well stuck on there just because of the adhesive there and then i put some on the back and more importantly we put some on the front there okay now write this down uh we're going to start with 10 15 22 30 45 and 60 that's your degrees and then these are your multipliers so 10 is 5 15 is 4 22 is 2.41 30 is 2, 45 is 1.41, and 60 is 1.45. That's for your offsets as an electrician. Two and a half inch pipe is 21 and an eighth. Three is 24 and three quarter. Three and a half is 27, and four inches is 32 and a quarter. That's for your larger table benders and stuff when you're running two inch, three inch, three and a half inch pipe. That's your 90 degree. A bend throw that's your deduct for your 90 degree bend so you can see if you're running two and a half inch pipe your your 90 is going to be running at least you know 21 inches tall so that's what that is these are your offset multipliers based on your degrees and you're going to be using these a bunch not so much these these are more advanced but you're definitely going to be using these now day one this is your hard hat Day one, you want to be useful. Um, I don't really recommend this pouch. Unfortunately, Tuckbill has labeled this the electrician pouch. Um, I don't agree with it. I cut this thing off and maybe it's useful, honestly. Um, I, would, I would probably just cut that off. And then this is somewhat ready for deployment. But you want to have a tape measure. You want to have a 10 in one. You want to have a pair of Kleins. Channel locks would be nice. Definitely a pair of strippers and a razor knife uh, right here. You've got to have a razor knife. So you're going to be getting deliveries. You might be the gopher to go get the job site, you know, materials, get deliveries, things like that. You've already got your pencils and your hard hats here. And in your safety vest, you'll probably have some kind of hot stick and uh, some pens at the minimum. But this will get you started on day one. And it'll keep you from looking like the guy that's just completely green. If you have at least this on you at all times, you're probably going to be the only guy nowadays wearing a tool belt. 
you're going to be wanted on the job site and people are going to know they can depend on you because a lot of times you're kind of looking for the next thing. You always want to be trying to figure out what does my journeyman or what does my lead supervisor's lead man, whatever he is, what might he need next? So if you see that he's thinking about something, you could grab your tape measure and, you know, have your tape measure ready or whatever it is. You just want to be helpful. So always be trying to figure out what your lead man's going to need next. Uh, there's your hard hat. There's your layout. Another good option for a tool belt, even if you just come in with something like this. You got your pair of clines. You got two spots for screwdrivers. You got other tools. You can put some tape here. This one's also available at Lowe's. This is a better option for a bag. You're going to get a cheesy tape measure clip. You got a spot for your clients. Razor knife goes there. And then you got your 10 in one spot. Might have to train these, but they will go. And then you've got your bare minimum tools that you need to be efficient as a helper. Hope that helps you guys out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.